I dropped my phone in the toilet last week. Ugh. Did you retrieve it? No. So you must be pretty annoyed then. Well, obviously I was at the time, but if I hadn't dropped my phone in the toilet, I wouldn't have gone to the shop to buy a new one. I guess you got a good deal on your new phone. Not really. If there had been a good discount, I would have bought the phone immediately, but there wasn't, so I was in the shop for some time. <sighs> I hate mobile phone shops. Me too, but if I hadn't been in the shop for so long, I wouldn't have missed the bus. And that's a good thing? Yes, because if I had taken the bus, I wouldn't have walked home. But it's miles away. And if I hadn't walked home, I wouldn't have found this wallet full of money. Wow, where's the money? Did you take it to the police station? Uh, yeah, of course I did. In this video, we're going to look at the third conditional. You can use the third conditional to talk about something which did not happen in the past and to imagine the results. It's often called the impossible conditional because, well, it's impossible to change the past. Here are some of the examples you heard in the conversation with my assistant. If I hadn't dropped my phone in the toilet, I wouldn't have gone to the shop to buy a new one. In reality, I did drop my phone in the toilet, so I did go to the shop. If there had been a good discount, I would have bought the phone immediately. In reality, there wasn't a good discount, so I didn't buy the phone immediately. If I hadn't been in the shop so long, I wouldn't have missed the bus. In reality, I was in the shop for a long time, so I did miss the bus. If I had taken the bus, I wouldn't have walked home. In reality, I didn't take the bus and I did walk home. If I hadn't walked home, I wouldn't have found this wallet. In reality, I did walk home and I did find this wallet. You form the third conditional like this. In the conditional clause, we use if with had or hadn't and past participle of the verb. In the main clause, use would or wouldn't with have and the past participle of the verb. For example, if it had been sunny, I would have gone for a walk. You can also put the main clause first, in which case you do not use a comma. I would have gone for a walk if it had been sunny. It is also possible to replace would with could or might. This shows that the imaginary result of the conditional clause is less certain. For example, if I had gone to London, I might have visited the British Museum. So remember, use the third conditional to talk about something which did not happen in the past and to imagine the results. Here are some more examples. If you had closed the gate, the bull wouldn't have escaped. I could have gone to the shops if you had told me. If it hadn't rained, the plants would have died. Now it's your turn. Write your third conditional examples in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.